Welcome to I Found This Great Book. My name is Curtis, and today we're featuring the author, John Ridley, one of our authors in the Black Mystery Author Directory. Now, Mr. Ridley is best known for his work as a screenwriter, television director, and showrunner. And he has won an Academy Award for Best Adapted Screenplay for the film 12 Years a Slave. And John Ridley is also the creator and showrunner of the critically acclaimed anthology series American Crime. Also, his most recent work is the documentary film Let It Fall, Los Angeles, 1982 to 1992. But we're here to talk books. And he has three books that we're going to feature here. The Drift, Stray Dogs, and Love is a Racket. So I'm going to read the blurb on The Drift. He was Charles Hammond, a black man, living white and living well. Beautiful wife, German car, big house in an upper, upper middle class suburb of Los Angeles. He is Brain Charlie, a train tramp eking out a ragged existence on the railroads, leaning on drugs to keep him from thinking about everything he had everything his creeping dementia has forced him to run from. Charlie's been asked a desperate favor. Find a 17-year-old niece of the man who taught him how to survive the rails. A girl lost somewhere on the high line, the corridors of racist hate along the tracks of the Pacific Northwest. Charlie has little hope of finding her alive. But the request is an obligation he can't refuse. The search is a twisted trail that leads from Iowa to Washington State, mixing lies and deceit, hate and hopelessness, and brutal, stubbornly unsolved murders. All of which Charlie is prepared to meet in kind. What he isn't prepared for is a path that will eventually lead him back to what he thought no longer existed, his own humanity, though the toll may turn out to be his life. All right, now, other book, Stray Dogs. A loner, a drifter, a gambler, John Stewart asks little of life, but when his 64 Mustang busts a radiator hose, in the middle of the empty Nevada desert, he prays to God, Buddha, Elrond, and rolls into the tiny town of Sierra, where he finds nothing. A gas station whose former owner is lying low in the cemetery, a strip of barren, dust-blown storefronts, a truck stop cafe with more flies than customers. Stewart wants out. Sucker punched in a rigged poker game, he's got to get to Vegas to settle a debt. Then in walks Grace, a seductive knockout who can read fortunes in faces. In the next 24 hours, Stewart becomes ensnared in a web of dirty double crosses, cold propositions, and desperate soul, deadly ground where murder is just one gasp away. So that's Stray Dogs. Now, third novel. Love is a Racket. John Ridley offers a brilliant noir farce about a small-time con man who finally gets it right just before it all goes wrong. Everything's a racket for Jethro Kittredge, a 37-year-old ex-wannabe songwriter living on the skids in Hollywood, the two-bit cons he pulls for spending money, the way he convinces himself that he's not a drunk between every shot of booze he kicks back, the way he tries to assure Dumas, the local shark, that he's just about to pay off his $15,000 debt, 
except he's not good at any of that. He's been in jail twice, and the state's got a bad attitude about seeing someone the third time. And that bug he just felt crawling up his neck is most likely the first installment of the DTs. And Dumas recently delivered a fairly emphatic payment due reminder. A couple of his goons busted two of Jethri's fingers. The fact is, Jethri is a loser. Big as they come, and things aren't about to change for him anytime soon. I would have felt near terminally depressed, he tells us as his story begins to unfold. But I was so used to my life, all I felt was content. Then he stumbles on salvation, a dirt-caked, street-hardened, exquisitely beautiful young homeless woman named Mona. Jethri prefers to think of her as Angel, who inspires both his love and the idea for the perfect con. It's Jethri's chance to hit it big and to be set for good in his new life with his new love. The thing about love, Jethri declares, is no matter how twisted or wrong or evil, it never dies. But as the momentum of the con carries him closer and closer to what he imagines will be a moment of blissed out consumption with his angel, Mona, Jethri discovers there are some severe exceptions to his rule. Okay, so again, John Ridley, one of the authors in our Black Mystery Author Directory. If you want to see his books, just go to ifoundthisgreatbook.com slash 66. ifoundthisgreatbook.com slash 66, the number, and it'll take you right to the page. You can see all the books and you can from there, you can go and look at the rest of the cool books we have and authors we have in the directory. Well over 100 authors of just just under 500 books right now as of today and always looking for more. So everyone stay safe and have a great reading day. <laughs>